Three and a half minutes to the market. It will be mixed at the open, but a nice gain for the Nasdaq. Joining us now, David Barnson. David joins us weekly with his dividend stock plays. He likes make, make, name companies that pay a big and rising dividend. And your first pick is Chevron. Tell me more. Well, with Chevron, what you have is the leader, I think, as far as these integrated energy plays, significant business downstream, but obviously a very big business upstream. And you have all the washed out factors about the energy complex. All the bad news was priced in throughout 2020. Now you're going to get increased supply throughout 21 and most certainly increased demand. And I believe uh, Chevron's 6% dividend yield is incredibly safe. Wow. They've paid this dividend and grown this dividend for decades. They've been through many bad times in the past, billions upon billions of dollars of liquidity. I think this one is a really, really solid play, Stuart. 6% is very attractive, very attractive indeed. Now tell me about Apollo. I think that's what, Apollo Management? What are they paying now? Yeah, so... Apollo's paying 4.3%. They also have grown this dividend year over year. And one of the great things about Apollo for the financials, and you recall, Stuart, we did very well in Blackstone with a very similar yeah. thesis. These are both like Blackstone. Apollo is a private equity manager. They're invested in hedge funds, private equity, real estate, but their capital is not what's investing in. It's, it's investor money. They're getting all the fees to manage it. It's very, very profitable. They're one of the best asset managers in the world. And they, uh, they don't have the balance sheet risk. They're not in the same category, the big banks. And so they're just sitting there collecting the fees, doing well, and sharing this profitability with us in the form of a growing dividend. So I believe Apollo is very underpriced and really an attractive play, a different way to go in financials going into the new year. Do you find yourself out of fashion at this moment? Because the markets is generally at all-time highs. Some of these IPOs are just going to the moon, huge capital gains. And you're talking about a 4 or 6% dividend. Out of fashion? Well, at first I thought you were talking about my outfit. And so I'm glad to know we're not <laughs> talking about clothes right now. Um, I'm used to being out of fashion in a couple categories. But the one you're talking about is the one that I actually take as a compliment. Uh, you cannot make money as an investor just simply following the crowd. And in fact, herd mentality can blow you to smithereens. I've spent the last 25 years watching people do that, jumping on the bandwagon. So being in fashion is not a compliment with investing. I think being contrarian and being rational, and unfortunately for us and for my family life, I have to do a ton of homework to do this right. But we do that homework. We find these companies with high dividends that are growing. And so do I think energy is in fashion right now? No, it's not. But I also think it's incredibly undervalued. And a lot of the things that are in fashion are way overvalued. You'll always be fashionable on this program, David Barnson. A welcome addition to David. Thanks for joining us. We will see you very soon. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas, my friend. Yep.